All right, guys, we're going to do another fill to satin demonstration. This one's a lot more complicated than the last one because this has intersections that need to be navigated with bridge. So if you go to inkstitch.org, docs, satin tools, where they talk about using bridges at intersections, and you see their little demonstration here, the T will become, will blank out. But if you use a bridge across, bridge across where you want to keep, it will keep it. So there's there's quite a bit of that going on in this particular image. And I got this image off of freesvg.org. Go to freesvg.org. You can find it easily. Um, if I remember to, I'll put a link. I'll try to remember to. I'm not good about that, but I'll try my best to remember to. I'll put a link to this actual image for freesvg.org. And when you download an image or you get an image or you trace bitmap, you need to see what's doing what. So this is all by itself, which is actually good because that means that I can, I can do all the wings separately. And the wings are actually the same. So I could do wings on one side, delete the wings on the other side, duplicate, flip it, move it over there. And, and that's probably what I'll do because it's just going to be easier. But anyway, so since this is all by itself, I'm actually going to hide everything else so they can concentrate on this one. I am going to um, either change color temporarily so I can see it easier, or I can also do, I can also change the opacity right here under fill that when I draw my lines, I can see my lines a little bit easier, and then we'll set that back up. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to draw a whole bunch of lines and bridges. So every, this, this entire circle needs to be bridged across the intersection. And I'm not breaking anything apart. This is all one piece. I'm not cutting anything. I'm not doing anything premeditated but we're going to just start drawing lines as such as i'm going to i'm going to go right up to the edge draw that line right up close to that draw that line draw that line and then i'm going to make my bridge it's that easy if you don't bridge it this right here is going to hollow out but by bridging it you're telling it to keep going across same thing with here. I'm going to put my lines, my uh, rails, my rungs. I do that every time. Put my rungs right here. I'm going to make a rung here and a rung here. And then I'm going to bridge that. Same thing down here. Go right up against the edge. Make another one. And another one and bridge it same thing right here make a make my rail my rung right up close to the edge bring this down bring this one down and bridge it and one more time right here same thing Ta -da. Ta -da, ta -da, and make a bridge. All right, our bridges are done. So a couple more lines like as in here and start the turn and finish. Well, I don't need to do that one because it's right here. Um, again, start the turn. I do have one right there. I really don't need that one. I don't think I need this one because I have one here and one here. So we're just going to put one in between to ease into that turn. And same thing here. We'll put one there and one there. And then we'll just come around the circle and make a few. Making a bunch of rails. That's all we're doing. 
All right, that should do it. That that should do it. I, if this doesn't work, I'll be surprised. But it, if it does work, this is so easy. So easy. All right. Now, moment of truth. Let me go into... Let me go into... Let me reselect that. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and turn the opacity back up. Now, my rails my rungs got hidden because they're black also but they're still there now you need to find all of the rungs that i just made are all these paths at the top the one that i'm working with is this path right here at the bottom i'm gonna drag that up so that it's all in the same layer even though it's not a layer select everything the circle all the rungs that we just made all the bridges we just made everything we're going to go to extensions, ink stitch, tool satin, fill to satin. The moment of truth. Um, center, let's see, contour, underlay, I like that. I didn't measure it, so I'm not sure how big it is, but we'll leave it like that. And hit close, and it worked. It worked, it worked, it worked. Select that satin group. We're going to go ahead and ink stitch params. Give it a little preview, see what it looks like, see if anything needs to change. And that looks pretty darn good. I am very happy with that. I'm gonna drag a couple of these over just a little bit, just to make sure there's a there's some over, just a little bit of overlap so there's no gaps. In the final stitching, I do have it preset. Uh, fill the satin, I do have it preset to do a, a point two um, pull comp so that'll actually help as well and I'm just making some final touches just to make sure we get a good stitch out and did I move that one I did not move that one let's go ahead and dust that one up just a little bit and just like that we have a finished centerpiece easy so easy all right so that's my satin group i'm going to select i need to show one of these wings so i'll see how this wing right here goes way underneath don't want that much of an overlay but i think i'm going to fix that after i do the the satin create i'm actually also going to get rid of that one so it's so short so small kind of unnecessary i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one and then everything else we're, we're just gonna do the same thing we're gonna make and make and let's go ahead and do that and that and that. now i do want to see because i don't know for sure i also want to see can i do more than one let's find out so I just did those. Yeah, see, that's a problem. That's going to be outside of that path. But we can adjust, I guess. Let's go make it a little ugly because that's the path we're working on is that one right there. And the ones I just made are way up here. That part kind of bites. So let's go ahead. Uh, When was it? Nine? Nope. on it five we're working with path five and everything above path nine so i still want to see if i can do more than one so let's see if it'll do more than one it's actually putting it in the group now so that's good i don't know how i made it do that but i need to learn that trick all right so we have some more so i need path five it's this one Path nine. Okay, so path five. And then, well, let's just go path nine and up and then control, hit the control button, hold it down, and also click path five. So let's see if we can do more than one at a time. Extensions, ink stitch, tool satin, fill to satin, hit apply. It worked. Oh my goodness. This is so neat. 
So satin zero, satin one. This is so cool. Um, I'm gonna put these at the bottom. Satin zero, satin one. And then three is the first one, four, did five already. That was kind of out of order, six. Okay. Uh, yeah, i just, let's go ahead and do path eight. Path eight, let's go ahead and make that one. It's actually putting it inside, that is awesome. And you know what we're gonna do in that case? We're gonna do them all. What can possibly go wrong? All right, so I can select everything in that group. Select everything in that group, and this should work. Extensions, ink stitch. Tool satin, fill to satin. Dun, dun, dun. Look at that. How cool is that? Now G9 has nothing but satins. That is this this new version just never it just doesn't fail to impress me absolutely okay so we do need to adjust this we're going to pull this out a little bit okay see all these oh my goodness see all these nodes we're going to simplify that literally simplify path simplify much better now we have something we can work with i'm going to drag this up here I'm gonna have to turn it a little bit and then I can actually delete that node we can pull this node up straighten that out a little bit pull this node up also straighten that out a little bit shorten that one and possibly get rid of that one yep that works Pull this down so that it is closer to that. Okay. We should look pretty good right there. I'm going to select that whole G9 group. Extensions, ink stitch, params. Let's see what we look like. What we look like. Oh, man. That is so nice. That's beautiful. Brings a tear to the eye. Okay, so to make the other side easier, this is what we're gonna do. I'm going to, let's unhide the other side and then, scary move, delete it. Boom, take G9, group, and duplicate. Go up here to the top, right here, and flip and hold control down so we can drag straight line over and we're going to drag it over to about where the other one was amazing okay so and i don't have a top level layer so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to create a new layer layer one doesn't matter what you name it we're going to select everything else and throw it into that layer. So now I have a layer and satin groups. I can just click that layer one and do whatever I need to do with the whole layer. And what I want to do here is I want to preview, visualize, simulate. And I do want the wings to stitch out first on both sides and then do the circle so that it looks better on the overlap. It looks like the wings go right into that piece circle. Very cool. Man, I love that. This looks very cool. I want it on a hat. I really do. I, I'm, I've, I'm ready to do some hats anyway. I'm going to make this for a hat. 
Yes. All right. So that was like super short and sweet. We did that whole design in 15 minutes. Probably less than 15 minutes since I was describing what I was doing as I went. But that is awesome. And just for giggles, let's go into the visualize. Let's do the, uh, what is it? Stitch plan preview. Hard for me to remember that. And there is our stitch plan preview. That is absolutely lovely. Very happy how that came out. It's so easy. This new version is so easy. It's it's just kind of ridiculous, honestly. Let me go ahead and pull in. Go ahead and pull in that original. Uh, what did I do with it? Yep, right there. So I'm going to pull in that original. I'm going to set the original up here. I kind of wish that was slightly different color. But that works. Yeah, that works. We're going to screenshot that because that's going to be the uh, image that I use. Save. That'll be the image that you saw whenever you clicked on this YouTube link. But so easy. It's absolutely so easy. I love it. Turned out fabulous. If you want to know more about bridging, if you're having trouble with bridging, just let me know. I'll do some more bridging content. Uh, once you once it kind of clicks in your head, it, it's not too bad. Just remember to bridge the part that you need to continue to go. But other than that, man, this one's short, simple, sweet, great results. And uh, if you made it this far, please do the YouTube likes and subscribes and all that good stuff. I would very much appreciate it, and it does make me happy. I'm getting close to 10,000 subscribers, and I'm 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 ready to push that 10,000 mark because that will also make me happy. Until next time, and as always, thank you so much for watching.